Chloe! Oh, come on, don't be in a mood with me. Look, I'm sorry about yesterday. So that makes everything all right then, does it? Well, tell me what I need to do to make it up then. OK. Firstly, you have to get it through your thick head that Marlon's not only my boss, but he's my friend as well, all right? Friend. Yeah, OK. And what else do I need to get through to my thick head? That looking at car engines isn't my idea of a romantic date. And that was me thinking you liked it when I got all greasy. Yeah, well. Ah. If you clean yourself up, you can come along to the barbecue later if you like. Well, I've got to finish Jarrett's car first. It's up to you. Oh, John, I've got a goodbye kiss then. Just one kiss. Mm. On the cheek. Though you might get a bit more later. <laughs> Under the shelves, Emily. Well, there's no post on a bank holiday, Mrs. Hall. Well, check the parcels in for collection, you never know. It might have got mixed up. Oh, you're not still going on about that Naughty Nylons catalogue, are you? Aren't you the least bit curious as to what your glamorous mother will look like? No, I'll die of embarrassment. Oh. Mum's on the warpath for that catalogue. I think I might have left the car lights and I won't be a jiffy. Mum, Bob's here. Has this catalogue been published or what? There's been a few technical difficulties. Oh, I'll sort them out then. Fancy a brew? There's nothing under here but dust, Mrs. Up. Mrs. Up? He's a good sterling must, isn't he? Who's he? What? Who's he? Never mind, love. What do you think he's driving then? I think he's really good. Yeah, he's not bad at all. Mind you, he's down to my instructing. Yeah, yeah, Grandad. You just said I was a natural. You're a natural for peeling an orange in your pocket. He's a tight so and so. <laughs> I finish up paying for the petrol he's using. So I'll pay you back. <laughs> oh, I believe that one. And where are you going to take Donna when you're all legal? I don't know. I ain't thought about it. Oh. Well, what about the seaside all? Will that cost too much? Well, you better take your purse, love, otherwise you'll be walking on with this one. <laughs> hey, you two are so funny. So is there a chance that we might go out for the day, then? Look, let's just see if I pass my test first, all right? I'm worried about you, Bernice. You look worn out. Oh, thanks very much. I didn't sleep at all last night, and you worked too hard. Ashley, stop fussing. You're not worrying about the baby, are you? A little bit. Don't. Because everything's going to be all right now, Bernice. Believe me. Here, get that down here. Yeah. Thank you. You sucked a few cans last night. Yeah, I nearly packed up and left here last night as well after watching Ashley gloating over that baby scan. He were looking at a picture of his baby. What do you expect him to do? <clears throat> it's my baby. I know it is. And I've been left right out in the cold. Look, I don't want you to leave, mate, but... I mean, if you're certain that it is your baby, and you stay, well, how are you going to feel watching Ashley bringing it up? I mean, look at the state you're now, and it's not even born yet. Yeah, well, don't you worry about me. <clears throat> no bloke could cope with that. I'll cope, all right. Because one thing's for sure. What's that? There's no way I'm going to be kept out of my baby's life. Hey, you. My mum's having a facial done. So what you don't mind, do you, mum? Just do me first, with you, Letitia? Right. Take deep breaths. We're supposed to be chilling. So what am I supposed to do? There's nothing else to do around here, is there? Then get off your behind and go and get a job like our Letitia has. Come on. <laughs> what? Washing a few cars at the garage? I don't think so. Just my scrubber fell and turned. <laughs> oh, ma'am, look what he's done now. You're the one who's shouting. Danny, out! Out of that door now! And you, go and sit to your son. Chloe, just need a couple more, then we're done. Cool. Can you 
sounds gorgeous, Marlon. Well, I'll do my best. We'll all have to do our best today. We've sold every single ticket. I should have more ideas like this. <laughs> Cheers. Think of it. His idea. Who does he think he is? I don't know, but he'd be lucky if I don't barbecue him today. Mark didn't even offer to take me for a drive. He's doing my head in. Well, it's not stopped you going on about it for the last ten minutes, has it? Well, why is he being so funny with me? Well, because Mark's a div. Can we talk about something else? Yeah, all right. But it's like he hates me and I don't even know what I've done wrong. Donna, just give it a rest, will you? Emily, I want to know how Nicola is. Have you seen her? No, and neither will you. Mm. She's gone away for a little while. She never said a word to me about going away. Probably because she thought you wouldn't care. Yeah, but I can't believe she'd just go without saying goodbye. I don't know why you're acting so surprised. After all you've done to her, do you realise how much you've hurt Nicola? Yes, yes I do. I'm sorry, Carlos, but the way you've behaved, well, I thought you'd have been glad to see the back of her. Now, if you don't mind, I'm, I'm too busy to be talking to you. All right. What are you up to? Nothing, really. Sounds about right round here. Yeah, we've got school to look forward to, I suppose. Yeah. Don't remind me the same old boring routine. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's why I've applied to join the army. The army? Yeah, you know, where they sponsor you through sixth form. I haven't told my mum yet. I'm dreading what she'll say. <laughs> you are having me on, aren't you? <laughs> I can't exactly see you in khaki. I had a mate who joined once. Said all he did was <laughs> scream and shout at him all day. Yeah, but it won't be much different from being at home then, will it? Sorry, I just nipped to the shop. It's no problem. Shouldn't you be taking it a bit easy? You know, what with the baby? Thank you, and... Carlos, but I've had enough with Ashley being overprotective, so if you don't mind. I do mind, actually. It's all right for Ashley playing the dumb. This thing. conversation is over. No, it hasn't even started. What about me, Billy? Say, eh? what about me? If you're carrying our baby, don't you think I'd like a chance to be the good father? But it isn't your baby. You don't know that. Cut me in two the other night watching you and Ashley. Does he know how lucky he is? Ashley's over the moon about our baby. And I'd like to keep it that way. So, like I said before, end of conversation. What are you doing, Scott? Oh, I don't need front the life at him. No, I'm all right, actually. I've just got it finished. That's good, because I've just passed Charity walking over here with a right face on it. Oh, well, on second thoughts, you can wipe it down. Right, boys. What excuse have you got for me today? That'd be a good one. No excuses. Oh. We've been working around the clock to get this thing sorted, haven't we, Danny? Right. Oh. Listen to that engine. Yeah, it sounds just like you, doesn't it, Scott? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I don't care what it sounds like as long as it goes. And I'll tell you something else, I will be back here sharpish if this comes out at the end of the road. Jason's going to bring me a right nice present back from holiday. <laughs> Jason will have nice tasting presents, don't you think, Mal? Yeah, love. I'm sure our Kirk's missing him as well, you know. Almost as much as I am. Don't you think you should try and make more friends round here? I mean, Jason's a lovely lad, but try and see who else you can pal up with, eh? You'd want to be her friend. Sure you would. I don't see your mates knocking the door down. Got more than you have. <sighs> Mum, where are you going? I've still got your top coat to do. I'm going to my room. I've had me fill of you two. Some day off. The reason we've hardly any customers is they've all bought tickets for your father's barbecue. You're still going to go, though, aren't you, Mum? Only because Jack wants me to. Yeah, well, it is only a one-off, isn't it? It better be. Do you want to go and get ready now, pet? You sure? Yeah, Carlos will help me clear up, won't you, Carlos? Yeah, fine by me. Right, I'll see you over there, then. Right then, Carlos, you and me are having words. What about? Stop upsetting our Bernice. Oh, hang on, Diane, I haven't done anything to upset her. I saw you with me own eyes. Well, I only asked her about the scan and how it all went. Well, maybe you're going to have to stop being so interested in Bernice. How? She could be carrying my kid. You're not the father. Get that right out of your head. And if you cared anything, anything at all, you'd accept that she's got her life together now and it's with Ashley, not you. Psst. Is it all clear? 
Mum's busy in the shop, if that's what you mean. If you don't tell me what's going on, I'm going to shout, Mum, right now. OK, OK. I've had a problem with the catalogue. I knew it. What have you gone and done now? Well, my boss found out your mum's married to me. I got into a bit of bother, but we've done a deal. Go on. Well, <clears throat> your mother will be in the catalogue, but they won't show her face. Only her legs. <laughs> You're dead meat when she finds out that one. Yeah, but she won't find out just yet, so I've got a bit of breathing time. Not unless I tell her. Oh, take pity on me, Donna. I've nearly got my sack over this. If you make it worth my while, I'll take your side when Mum sees the catalogue and does on that. How much? Twenty. Ten. Done. Let's go to your go. Benice flaming Thomas and her mother. For a start off, Benice has convinced herself that the baby's Ashley's. Well, she would do, wouldn't she? Well, Diane has as well. I've just had a right mouthful of her. Well, I wouldn't like to get on the wrong side of Diane. Well, well, she's bound to stand by her daughter, isn't she? I mean, what do you expect? I expect not to be ignored. It's like Benice and I were never together. I don't care what either of them say. That baby's mine, I know it is. And they've not heard the last from me. Nice short, same by the legs. Hey, cheeky. So, where's that kiss you promised me? Chloe! Marlon would like the food outside today, if you can spare the time. I suppose better do what he says. So go and grab a drink. I know what I'd like to grab. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down here, Billy. You still look pale. If you insist. But you're not going to cluck around me like a mother hen for the next six months, Ashley. <clears throat> Diane. Jack. How are you keeping, Alan? Very, very well, thanks. Uh, the B&B's keeping me pretty busy. And... Hello there. Well, I'm glad to see you and Jack have both made the effort. You've got a sun hat on. What more do you want? Excuse me. Ah, oh, well, at least someone's got into the spirit and looking fantastic, I must say. Mm, Louise, you look stunning. <laughs> Rodney, it's nothing. Hi, Diane. Hiya, Pat. What are you doing back here? Oh, Rodney invited me. You obviously had nothing better to do then. Jack. Oh, no, lovely to see you again, Louise. Thank you, Jack. It's lovely to be back. <laughs> so, what are your plans? Are you sticking around for longer this time? Oh, I haven't really decided yet. Best to keep my options open on that one, I think. Yeah. Rodney, it is absolutely heaving outside. You've definitely got a success. I can't there. believe the number of people that turned up here today. I hope it hasn't affected the takings in the pub, Diane. <sighs> Shall we get a drink, oh, Diane? I'll swing for him one of these days. Not now, the way. I haven't eaten yet. Good to be back home, isn't it? You'd rather be back on that beach with me, though, wouldn't you? Hmm. Hey! Sean, put me down! No, I am carrying you over the threshold. If my knees don't give way first. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. She's a stunner. And what a figure. Don't know what she sees in him. Probably the same thing you saw in him all those years ago. I'm a bit older and a lot wiser now. Anyone hungry yet? Oh, I'll come and give you a hand. No, no, you stay here, Benice. I'll bring it over. Hey, Marlon, uh, slap a burger and that, will you, mate? I'm starving. Uh, oh, sorry, unfortunately, we don't do what, burgers? No, no, no. We do ground beef patties with tomato and herb seasoning. Mmm. Right. The burger. We're running low on the ribs. I don't mind, I'll have whatever you've got. <laughs> Oi, Marlon! Is there something I said? Patricia? I'm, so, I'm sorry, I, th I thought you were someone else. I thought she was Tricia. Marlon, I'm sorry. For a minute, I thought she'd come back. Oh, Come on, let's get you inside, eh? I'm tired after that flight. I could do with a rest. How about you? Are you asking me to come upstairs with you? Mm, I might be. Well, get up those stairs, then. <laughs> oh, never mind, love. You can chase me around the bedroom later, eh? <laughs> hey, you're mad, love. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey. <laughs> oh, great to see you. Oh, it's great to have you back. Hello. 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 Why, Dad, have you missed us? <laughs> no, it's just that you take over these driving lessons, cos I'm at the end of a tether with this one. <laughs> Same here. Hello. Hiya. Hiya. Hello, love. <laughs> what have you brought me? Oh, well, give oh, us a chance to open the suitcases, <laughs> then. <laughs> I can't believe I thought that was Trish right there. It did look like her, though. It's an easy enough mistake to make. One mistake I ever made was thinking she'd ever come back to me. Don't be daft. Why would she, though? I'm not good enough for Trisha. Marlon, stop putting yourself down. Any girl would be lucky to have you. <laughs> it's a shame Trisha didn't think so, wouldn't it? Marlon, <laughs> come here. Do you like that mask she's wearing? No. I only had slappers with him. Cheeky, Bob bought me one of those in bed. Came on too much information. I've been trying to get through to head office, my sweet, but there's no answer. Bob. It is bank holiday, Mum. Hey, that's her off the telly. Oh, yeah. She was in the last Naughty Nylons catalogue, now look at her. Just think, that could happen to me, but I'm miles better looking than her, aren't I, Bob? There's no contest. Once my face has been seen, my modelling career would just take off. That phone will never stop ringing. You just wait and see. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've just run out. Rodney, where on earth have they got to? Uh, Rodney, do you know where Chloe is? Good question. I don't know what Marlon are up to today. Come on, Cathy. Look, if you see them, tell them I need their help here pronto. Come on. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> He's full of beans, is how he's shown. <laughs> and you look happy too, love. I am. We got on really well on holiday. Well, you both deserve it after what you've been through all these past months. Yeah, I thought about that a lot. About Kane and Tara and how we got into that mess. Yeah, well, all you want to be doing now is concentrating on where you go from here. Forget about all that carry-on. But I feel so guilty. I don't know whether I should tell Sean about Kane. No, 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 no. You don't say a word. Do you hear me? There is no point in raking over it. I've gone through a lot to keep this family going. Don't forget, so long ago, I finished up in hospital on account of that cane dingle. How could I forget? I'll never be able to thank you enough for what you've done for us all. You've kept this family together. Yeah, well, let's keep it that way then, shall we? Eh? <laughs> Sorry for being such a pain, Chloe. Don't be silly. You want a shot, that's all. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with me anyway. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> so what's going on here, then? Oh. Marlon's a bit upset. Oh, he is, is he? So what is it then, Marlon? Someone burnt your sausages? No, he thought he saw Trisha outside in the crowd, but it wasn't her. Oh, come on. It's all an act, isn't it, Marlon? I know that. And you know that. He's been upset. Now, why would he put that on? Could you give me a clue? Just a tiny one, mind, as to what you're rattling on about. You turning on the waterworks just so <laughs> that you can make my girlfriend feel sorry for you. Stop, he's a childish Scott. OK, he's doing it on a purpose. You know what? I think you've had too much sun today, because you ain't making any sense. Oh, but I am making sense. And I'm Marlon. <laughs> Rodney, where are those two? Oh. Dad, do you need a hand? No, he doesn't. Dear Rodney. You're not working on your afternoon off, Bernice. And I'm sure I read in the baby book that pregnant women shouldn't touch raw meat. Move over, Rodney. Prepare to see how you really work a Barbie. Uh, you're my guest. Not anymore, I'm not. Besides, I've been dying to have a go at this ever since I got here. <laughs> there you are. Two, we seem to work well together. Your father works well with any woman, love. I wonder how Carlos is coping on his own at the wall pack. Don't worry about him. Or the pub. <laughs> it's like the Murray Celeste when I left. All you should be concentrating on is you, Ashley and the baby. You've always wanted to get me back for taking Lynn, haven't you? I don't know why you just don't admit it. What are you talking about? Well, it's funny how your women always seem to run away from me, Marlon. Obviously don't know how to satisfy a woman. What? Like you do when you slept with Trisha? You slept with Trisha as well? Oh, yeah, only you couldn't perform in the bedroom department, could you, Scott? I don't believe this. Trisha? Can you please give me a list of people who you haven't slept with in this village? You fancy Chloe? <laughs> You have done ever since you started working here. Get out, Scott. Chloe, you've just got to trust me on this one. Trust you? 
All you've done is embarrass me and humiliate Marlon, so get out! Now! Right. Stand up, everyone. We're gonna have a toast. What's this in aid of, then? I don't know. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> you won the lottery, Dad. Even better than that. Our Ollie's got herself some great exam results and a dead proud. Thank you. You wicked. <laughs> Our Mark is going to do just as well in his driving test tomorrow. You better all the hours I've spent with him. <laughs> <laughs> and your mum and me. Well, I just want to say that it's taken a long time for us to get here. But I'm really happy that we're all back together. How we should be as a family. So here's to us. Yeah, to us all. To us. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.